Hello friends, welcome to Picky Assist. Today we will learn how we can apply for WhatsApp Cloud API and how you can connect your WhatsApp Cloud API with Picky Assist. Before starting, you should keep below things handy. First, you should log in in your Facebook account and uh, you log in in your Picky Assist account also. And if you don't have a Picky Assist account, then you can open pickyassist.com. On the right hand side, you will get an option try for free. Click on that. Enter your mobile number, your name, email ID and password and uh, create an account within 2 minutes. Okay. With Picky Assist, you can connect your WhatsApp with uh, more than 3000 uh, apps. Okay, Like Soho CRM, Zendex, Zapier, WhatsApp Mail, Facebook Lead Add-on, Google AdWords, Google Sheet, Google Form, HubSpot, Strello and many more other popular CRMs. Okay, you can use a picky assist uh, dashboard for perform various actions like we have a team box team box is a product where you can invite your team members and collaborate with them and chat with customers. Okay, you have a broadcaster where you can uh, upload the Excel sheet containing your clients number and you can send them a bulk messages. Here you will have the smart replies the smart replies is a 24 into 7 chatbot. Okay. Then you can use connector to integrate with the third party applications. Then there is a sequence which is which you can say you can send automated follow up messages to your customers at regular interval of time. Okay. Then we have a mini CRM where you can manage your customers. You can tag them in various tags and categories which you can segregate uh, later and do the various actions on that. So these are the possibilities which you can do with PKSs. So let's jump in how to create a WhatsApp Cloud API. To create WhatsApp Cloud API, first login in your Facebook. After login in your Facebook, in a new tab, you can open developers.facebook.com. Okay, so now you have to create your developers account. So for creating a developers account, on the right hand side, you will find the option get started. Click on that. Okay, uh, then you have uh, then you have to click on continue. Okay, choose your country and then enter your mobile number. Confirm your mobile number with verification code. Click on continue. Click on agree and confirm email. You can choose your best role. So here your developers account is created. Once your developer account is created, you have to click on uh, create app. Okay, you have to select business as a as a app type. Then scroll it down. Click on next. Okay, give your app name. Okay, if you already have a business manager ID, you can select that business manager ID, or you can simply click on create app. Okay, now you have to scroll it down and select WhatsApp setup. Okay, you have to click on continue. Okay, now you have to click on start using the app. Now you have to scroll it down and uh, you have to click on add phone number. Here you can enter your legal business name, your business email ID. your business website select your country okay and then you can click on continue okay 
so your business profile display name will be picky assist time zone will be asia then you have to choose a category so here i am choosing education and then click on next now you can enter the number which you want to convert uh, in an official whatsapp business api if whatsapp is already running on that number then you have to make sure you delete whatsapp business from your phone first okay then enter that number here so let me put the number okay let me call select a phone call as a verification method i received the call let me answer it your verification code is 3061555 your verification code is 3061555 okay your business verification is verified and your number is converted to the whatsapp official here you can see your number okay now the next process is to generate the permanent uh, access token Now next step is to generate the permanent access token. Okay, so for that you have can click on the top. You will find app dashboard. Click on that. Here you will find business settings. Open that business settings in a new tab. You have to select the system users on left hand side. So right now there are no system users. You have to create one. Click on add. Click on accept and agree. Then done. give the name of system user make him as an admin and click on create system user okay again accept it now system user is created okay now you have to click on add asset on the left hand side click on app select your app okay now you have to give them a full control okay so click on full control and click on save changes done okay now here you have to click on generate new token so select your app first okay here we have to give all the permissions which is related to whatsapp services so first permission is whatsapp business messaging and the next one is whatsapp business management these are the two permissions which we have to give mandatory then cl click on generate token now that a uh, permanent access token is generated you have to save that token somewhere else which can be used further after generating permanent access token okay you have to go in pk assist account okay then you can click on more menus here you will find settings click on in settings click on channels okay here then you have to click on whatsapp cloud connect okay now you have to enter the whatsapp business account id which is available in your developer's account this is your whatsapp business account id copy it okay you have to paste it here now you have to enter the access token copy that access token and copy it in here then click on connect click on that number okay click on finalize settings Okay. Now we have to uh, copy the webhook and the uh, and uh, this verify token in developers account. Okay, so go in developers account, then click on configuration. Okay, in webhooks uh, on the right hand side edit button is there. Click on edit, 
here we have to enter the callback URL. So again, go in Picky Assist, copy that URL. Here's a copy button. Then again, go in Picky Assist, copy that verification token. Okay, now verify and save. It's verified. Okay. Now we have to click on that uh, webhook fields. Okay. Here we have to subscribe every option. Just cross check whether every option is subscribed or not. Then click on done. So now that configuration is complete. Okay. Now we have to check with picky assist whether that verification that whatsapp number is connected or not after completing the settings let's test the services okay so we open a whatsapp okay that is the number which we configured on the whatsapp let me send a message test okay let's go in the picky assist and see whether the message came here or not we can click on more menus and we can go in messages here we can see uh, we receive the message so to reply to that message we can uh, we are going to use the picky assist feature uh, which is team box okay that team box is configured here we can see we received a chat then nobody's answered that chat that's why it's showing in missed we can click on that chat now we have to join that chat it will come in a my chats okay so here we can reply welcome to picky assist okay let me check whether we received it or not yes we received it uh, received here you can see we get the notification that we received a message and we can check in the pick assist panel also that message received so it means that whatsapp cloud api is properly configured in pick assist and it's ready to use